Welcome to Electronic Recyclers International here in Fresno, California. Today I'm going to take you on a tour through our facilities where you get to see what happens to your electronics that you send to us. At over eight locations across the United States, over time ERI has processed a billion pounds of electronics. During the tour today you're going to get to see our shredding technology which allows us to generate clean streams of commodities which then go to downstream vendors that reuse them in new products. Some of those commodities consist of copper, steel, aluminum, and plastic. You're also going to get verification that your data is destroyed once it is received at ERI, whether it's through software to wipe that data or it's also through the shredding technology that we have. So come with me today and enjoy a tour here at ERI. As each truck of electronics comes into ERI, each individual pallet is offloaded and weighed on a digital scale. Each pallet is then given a unique barcode which allows us to track these electronics through the whole recycling process. Once the electronics have been inventoried into our TrackTech software system, they are then sent to the proper area of the facility where they will be dismantled, sorted, and shredded. The electronics that come in that are non-video display will be sorted through to remove out any inks and toners, batteries, and mercury containing devices. Once those types of materials have been removed, it'll then go through our shredder. We have the largest electronic waste shredder in the world. It allows us to process 30 to 40,000 pounds of electronics per hour. Another thing we focus on here at ERI is the health and safety of not only our employees inside of our plants, but also the environment outside. All of our processing technologies at ERI are equipped with engineering controls that capture any of the dust being generated from the shredding and keep it from being released into the warehouse and into the open environment. This is all done by ducting and Donaldson air filtration systems. We also have fire suppression systems on all of our shredders across the nation. This allows us to capture any fire or flame that might be generated from the shredding and prevent it from not only damaging our technology, but also injuring employees in our warehouse. We strive to provide a safe workplace for all of our employees across the nation. What does this shredder do for you and for ERI? It destroys your data and it generates pure commodities to be reused in new products. Some of those commodities consist of precious metals, copper, aluminum, steel, and plastic. Once we load the electronics into our e-waste shredder, it then shreds that material into one and a half to two and a half size pieces. Once that material has been shredded, it will go through a separation process. Those materials then go direct to the downstream vendor where it's refined and melted and reused in new electronics. One of the number one concerns our customers have is the data that's contained on their electronics. We want to ensure those customers that their data is being destroyed when it comes to ERI. A computer is one of those main devices that contains a lot of data. What you're seeing here is each computer being torn down to its commodity value and all the hard drives containing this data are removed. There's then two processes these hard drives go through. The first one is they will be wiped of all their internal data, a report will be prepared for that customer, and then they will be shredded through our shredder where it goes down into about an inch and a half to two and a half inch size pieces, which completely removes the factor that your data will ever be able to be recovered from these devices. We've now entered into our CRT glass cutting and cleaning operation. Once we've hand dismantled your old computer monitors and your televisions down to the bare cathode ray tube, they then go through our dry cleaning process which allows us to remove off the phosphorus coating on the inside of the panel. This makes the glass furnace ready. Once this has taken place at ERI, it is then sent direct to a glass to glass remanufacturer. Another form of recycling is reuse. Here at Electronic Recyclers International, we also do the refurbishment and resale of electronics that still can be used for their intended purpose into the consumer marketplace. This also provides a value back to our customer by helping offset the recycling costs of end-to-life electronics with the refurbishment of electronics that can still be reused. The electronics that come through this department at ERI are each registered individually into our TrackTech software. This allows our customer to see every individual unit that has the ability to be refurbished and resold and also the ability to see what we're able to sell that component for back into the consumer marketplace. Some of the items that come through this department are flat screen televisions, computer desktops, cell phones, cameras, even iPads and tablets. What we do here is we go through and test each individual unit. 
first we test it as a whole. So for example, a TV, we wanna make sure it powers on, there's a picture, all the different inputs and outputs work. If by case something doesn't work on the initial test, we will then parts harvest. And what that means to you, the customer, and to the consumer marketplace, is we will pull individual parts out of those electronics and repurpose them to be reused out into the consumer marketplace. Another key factor for customers is the data. Every different electronic that comes through our facility that contains data, we will do a complete wipe of that material using software. We will then provide a report back to the customer or the consumer showing them the detail of what was removed from that item. Some clients allow us to reuse those and put them back into those devices. Some clients want them shredded afterwards to confirm the full destruction of that material. Another piece to our refurbishment resale department is the secure aspect of our facilities. In ERI's facilities, you have cameras inside and outside. This not only includes the asset manager piece, it also includes the shredding and the CRT piece. We have third-party security at all the entries and exits, and we also have metal detectors. So it keeps you, the customer, safe when you go home at night and have the comfort that your material is being handled properly and your data will not get back out into the public workplace. What you've seen here today in Fresno, California is also in place at our other seven locations across the United States. This allows us to process over 250 million pounds of electronics every year in the United States. I want to thank you all for joining Electronic Recyclers International on this tour today. I hope to see you soon at one of our facilities.